Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an MSI GF63 thin gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside to access your RAM if you need to replace it or upgrade it. So first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure that it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's quite a few screws on this bottom case. You have four along the bottom edge here of the screen, three along this edge, three over here, one top left, and this last one here in the middle. So you're gonna remove all of those screws. After you do, you'll take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your cases a little bit much. So a small, flat, plastic pry tool Go all the way across the seam of your bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up from the rest of your computer. Now, while you're working on that, guys, a couple things to shout out. When I'm working on computers, I have them sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or wearing an anti-static bracelet can go a long way to limiting the chances of damaging your computer. In addition to those type of supplies, any sort of pry tools or screwdrivers or anything like that you need for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where you can see some of the things that I use in my shop. That link will also include all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model laptop, including the RAM. Last thing to shout out about taking off this bottom case, you may notice there's an HDMI port on the back side. That's going to make it kind of a pain to get that side up. You got to make sure you get it around up and over that HDMI port. So super sorry. I didn't design it. It makes it kind of a pain. But after you get your bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before going deeper into the computer, I always unplug or remove my main computer battery. Now this battery, instead of being screwed on, it's glued on. Um, that kind of complicates it because I wasn't able to get this plug out without removing the battery. There's not a lot of room here. They didn't leave a lot of space. Um, and I put a pry tool right into that groove right there in the middle and kept trying to push it out. But again, because there wasn't a lot of room, I wasn't able to. I had to physically remove the entire battery. Now, because this battery is glued down and not screwed down, that presents another challenge. You have two options to remove it. You can either muscle it out, in which case, be careful you don't bend it too much. You could break the battery or you use a heat gun. Now, heat guns and batteries are an explosive danger. So make sure your battery is completely discharged before attempting to use a heat gun on it. Also, make sure the heat gun is several inches above the battery and don't keep it in one place too long. So I had to go all the way over, down, up, down, heat it up, get that glue underneath a little soft. And then I used an old credit card or similar tool to slide under it to get that battery up. But again, a little bit of a pain in this model computer. After you've removed or at least unplugged your battery, if you were able to do so, this is your RAM area right here. Now the way to operate this RAM port, you have one metal arm on either side. You would pry those apart from each other gently away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will then release. Sometimes it'll even pop up a little bit and then you can take the RAM stick out of that port. Now to put the RAM stick back in, it can only go in one way. You'll see a long end to the stick here and a short end there. So you can only plug it in the right way. After you get it plugged in nice and flush, press on the center of it down and those metal arms will clip onto it and hold it in place. I will have the RAM specs, what kind of RAM you need for this computer below in the description. And again, like I mentioned earlier, there will also be RAM replacement ideas in that link. Um, where there's all the replacement parts and tools. So I hope this video was helpful getting into the computer. This model's kind of a pain. Sorry about that. Uh, but if you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.